Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm your host Grexo and we're gonna look up at every anime which released this season and I'm gonna rank it if it's worth to watch or not. I watched them all. <laughs> So yeah, I was the one of the crazy ones who gone through the whole list and seen whatever was released till today, which is the 1st of May. So let's start right into it, right? Okay, so first up we've got Astronaut. I'm gonna rank it too, so <laughs> it's uh, gonna be a bit salty. Astronaut is a fine show. It's not really for me, but I did watch how many of them? Uh, four episodes. So for four episodes I would put it at a 6 out of 10. No, I could make it like this. I dropped it, but the show overall is quite fun. Um, it can be fun to watch, but the uh, gags are a bit old, so it's not really for me. Okay, the second mention, or the second one. Bartender, come in a glass, or God's glass. It's a really good show, I really like it, I'm currently watching it, I'm at episode 4, so I can only recommend it. It's a suiting anime, so it's not really for everyone, because the team is still drinking, but I really like it. So yeah, I'm currently having it at an 8 out of 10, and I'm gonna use decimals for a bit later, so yeah. Okay, let's see, we've gotta move this a bit down. And this a bit up. Well, the next one would be Blue Archive, the animation. If you like Girls Frontier, or uh, Dolls Frontier, or uh, for example, which one was it? Ark Knights, the animation, then you would enjoy this one. But it's not exactly one I would totally recommend for everyone. And I did not really enjoy it, but the animation is on par. It's really good, but not for me. So I dropped it. But it's better than Astronaut, I can 100% say that. Okay, uh, the next one would be My Hero Academia, but that is not released, so I can only say uh, no opinion. Oh, Oblivion Battery. This is a funny one. <laughs> I enjoy this one. I really enjoy this one. More than a God's Glass. I mean, the jokes are great. <laughs> Like, the jokes are really good, the parody of Dragon Ball or the other series are quite funny, and <laughs> the pee pee poo, poo humor is top notch. So this one would be like of 10, maybe more, we are gonna see it a bit later. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Data Life is gonna go down here, because I'm not totally caught up with all of them. So I gotta say that I've got no opinion onto it, and I don't want to be totally unfair to everyone. Okay, this one. The Isekai Hero Whatsoever. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna make it like this, because it's way too much text. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I did watch how many? Five episodes, but overall the story progression is not really that good and I'm not really having fun with it. So having it at five is already quite generous. It's not really well made too, so it's dropped. I don't even recommend this one. Okay, Girls Band to Cry, one of the best shows this season, for me at the very least. I really like it. Let's see. The animation is uh, CG, but if you can't stomach that, then it's one of the best anime series that you could want it. The storytelling is really amazing, the characters are funny, quirky and <laughs> annoying sometimes. So I'm currently at episode 4, but it's an 8.5 at the very least. Those ratings here can change, so you don't have to take it as set in stone. Hananoi-kun! This one is interesting. <laughs> Because even if I'm watching it, I've got no score currently on Mal set for this, but it's crazy. I'm still watching it, but this guy here, Hana Noikun, I feel like he's a psycho, a total psycho. I mean, do I enjoy it? It's fine. It's a good show. 
but okay this should do it for now i will move it up or down depending <laughs> on uh, how much i will see the other series but yeah currently it's not really a contender for the best shows do i recommend it i mean if you like romances yeah why not but there are so many better shows out there so yeah ah Henjin no salad the <laughs> reverse isekai from the parallel world Okay, this girl here seen too much Detective Conan. <laughs> it's good because... How do I say it? How do I say it? He's a detective and he meets her, but she has magic and so on. So she threatens him to stay under his roof. So it's quite a comedy. It's better than this at the least. Is it a must watch? Not really. But did I have fun with it? Of course I had. So how many episodes I watched? Four. It's a solid, good show. Oh, this is one of the best shows this season, which I'm not caught up. So we are not based here. I cannot rate it because I did not see it. Okay, the next one, high speed, et toi. Or how do I say it? I've got no idea. Okay, I watched how many of them? Four episodes, so I'm currently caught up. Is it good? Mm, I mean, for me, it's better than Astronaut, but Astronaut would be 5.5 compared to this one. So this one would be currently the benchmark for the sixth. I've got it currently on hold, but I'm still watching it. Let's see. Next one. Himimitsu no Aipri. 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 Oh yeah, this one. I watched only one episode. I cannot totally uh, judge it, but I dropped it. But the reason I dropped it is because it's not for me. It's for little girls currently, at the least. Is it good? I mean, the animation, uh, it uses a lot of CG, plus the door to the dimension of Ipri was done so badly. Oh man, it's just copy-paste. The editing there was sad, really sad. I'm sorry, but I cannot make it better. Okay, next one. Jisan Basan. How do I rate it? I mean, I'm still watching it. Is it a good one? Do I recommend it? I mean, it's a good comedy and every episode is a bit different. I mean, I have fun with it, so I can recommend it, but it's not better than Henshin no Salad. I would put it somewhere here, currently, at the least. 7.4. Okay. Ooh, the next one, the mystery one. I like this one. The Mysterious Disappearances. It's the kind of show I enjoy to watch. Currently, I'm at episode 3, because that's only the episode which is up currently. But for me, it's a solid 8.4. The show overall, the thematic and animation are top-notch, so we can only wait for it how it will... How do I say it? How it will unfold, if it's gonna be better or worse. But currently, I do enjoy it. I mean, it's edgy. <laughs> It's funny, but I'm more onto the supernatural, so I do like it. The romance is not really that strong. The mysteries are quite interesting, so that's why I like it, and that's why I rate it so highly. Even if on the internet sites it's not really that highly rated. Okay, let's see, one of the best shows this season, Kaiju number 8. I mean, we gotta put it up here, right? It's one of the best shows this season. I do like it. I mean, currently I have it at 8, but overall it's more like an 8.8 .8 out of 10. But this ranking here is my overall rating, not the seasonal rating. But this rating on Mal, it's rounded down everything. Even 8.8 .8 is only 8 for me. So it needs to go to the, how do I say it, to the decimal. Still, it's everything is just subjective, but I do like this show and I read the manga, so it's really good. I can only recommend it. It's one of the best show this season. Let's see, God's Game. This one is gonna be where i mean i do watch it but i'm gonna drop 
it probably. The animation quality is quite high, so I cannot really say that it's a bad show, but it feels like a knockoff from No Game No Life. But is it better than Blue Animation quality wise? No. I'm at episode 5. Yeah, like this currently. I'm still watching it, but I'm not sure how it will unfold, so I can only leave it at this place. Let's see, the next one. Ah! The budget version of A Pot Cree Diaries. I have no rating for it currently. I don't really enjoy it that much, but it's okay. I mean, the episode 4 was the best episode till today. The other episodes were not really that good for me. So currently it's like a 7.1. Yeah, okay, let's see the next one. Do I recommend it? I mean, it's for the people who like the historical dramas more. So, uh, not really my kind of show. So for me, no, but for you, you need to give it a try. Okay, Kenka Doku Gak, Laurel Hit, How to Fight, so many names. Do I recommend it? I mean, yes, in this day and age, this is one of the better shows up there. But the animation is not for everyone, but I really do like it. I really like it. For me, it's a very good show. So I can only move it up here. So 3 was currently till today out. So it's gonna be the benchmark for the 8. Yeah. Let's see. Next on the list. Ah, Demon Slayer. Currently, no episode out. So I've got no opinion. Next one. Konosuba. <laughs> The best comedy ever, right? I'm caught up, so for me this is a solid 9 out of 10. I mean, come on, it's Konosuba and I'm a big fan. But for a new people, they would need to watch it from season 1. But for me, it's a <laughs> the best comedy. I do like it the most. Okay, let's see. Black Butler. <sighs> It's sad, but I'm not caught up. Even if I do know that this one should be quite good. People like it a lot. Sadly, I cannot really rate it. Okay, another one of the I read the manga, so... <laughs> uh, I did watch the first three episodes. I mean, the animation had a lot of to left to desire. How do I say it? Okay, let's see, episode 3, I've got it on hold, but I will probably drop it after the next episode. I don't really recommend it, it's more of a this, or maybe even this, yeah, 6.4 of the 10, on hold, almost dropped. I mean, the animation story and so on, it's okay, but already overused, if it released maybe 3 or 4 years ago it would be a good one, but sadly. Okay. Okay, the third season of Irregular on the Magic High School. Do I have it rated? Currently no. But for me, it's more of here. I do watch it, it's okay, but it's not amazing or great. I mean, it's only the continuation. We've seen some good moments, but I mean, I don't really enjoy it. I know it's an L take, but still. There are better shows this season, sadly. Okay. Next one, The Demon Academia. Oh my god, this title. So we've got Anna's Waldy Goat back in action. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, I enjoyed the first and second uh, season, but the first one was the best one, and after that it gone down the train. Ay ay ay. People will. <laughs> shit on me, but it's here. It's not that good. I'm sorry. I need to put it here. Okay, next one. This is the romance you need to watch if you are for the romance. So Hananoi Kun can go down. This one can go down. This one can be here. What's the rating I gave it? Yeah, I mean, it's up here. Episode 5. Currently, it's like this. Probably. Yeah, it's good, but not amazing. But how do I say it? I do have a lot of fun watching it. Let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna make a end of season list, but currently it's okay. Let's see, next one. 
Jobless reincarnation. Ooh, this is a good one, but a bad one at the same time. But who am I joking? Episode 4 is currently out and I gave it a 9.0. For me it's a must watch. For a lot of people it's a must watch if they've seen the previous episodes. So I don't really have a lot to say to it. I mean, just watch it. It's a good show, but <laughs> there is a lot of edgy there. So it's not for everyone. Okay, next one. One room. This is a little bit of a surprise for me. Because I do enjoy it a little bit more than I should. Mm, five episodes. It's a nice rom-com. In one room. <laughs> exactly, I mean, it's self-explained. Oh, this is a spicy list. This is a spicy list. Mm. Oi Tombo, a golfing one. I did watch it, the first uh, four episodes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I enjoy it? Yes, I do enjoy it. But is it overall really good? Not really. Hey, I mean, it's here. It's here, yep. Episode four. No, it's higher. It's higher because it's the highest. No, no. Okay, enough of the eminence in Shadow of Let's see, the next one is really hard to judge because it's the remake of Spice and Wolf. But currently I've got no problems with it, so do I enjoy it? I mean, it's a good show. It's hard to judge it properly because of the nostalgia. But yeah, I mean, I need to put it up here, right? I do enjoy it. I had enough fun with it. It's not the best one, but it's really good. Okay, next one. Re-Monster. Hmm, we've got so many animals this season. Some of them are good, some of them not. But this one is a typical isekai. I know that the light novel was quite older and released earlier than most of the isekai which we've gotten today already out. It's not exactly Godfather, but if you know uh, the slime anime of Rimuru Tempest, then you would probably not know that this one was out sooner than slime. So you cannot really say that this one copies it because uh, slime copies this one more. <laughs> But as for the anime release, I mean, it's okay. It's not really that good. I mean, I do enjoy it, but I'm an Isekai trash fan, so uh, I do enjoy it more than one room. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. It's similar to me as the Elf Bride. Ooh, this is spicy. This is spicy. This is funny. Okay, Rinkai, a cycling anime. This one, I watched all of the episodes currently so four of them are out the rating as you can see it's not really good because the animation of cycling which it should be its main focus it's not really up there i do like it but overall it's a 6.5 and uh, there is a chance i'm gonna drop it after two more episodes okay let's see the yuri the yuri we've got uh, two yuri anime back to back this is fun okay <laughs> this is gonna be interesting because a lot of people are gonna shit on me but sing me a low song or what's the english title i mean for me it's here how many episodes do i have three of them i know i know people don't hate me <laughs> But it's not really that good for me. I mean, the animation is okay. The story is fine too. But this one, the voice acting radio one, I like it a lot more. Because it's, it has a story, a better story. The characters are quite realistic ones. It's deeper, but it's funny at the same time. And it doesn't feel like a romance, but it's really good for... I really like it. Kajino Otome. Where is it? Kajino Otome. Ah, is it better than Mysterious Disappearances? Okay, I will name it. Okay, I need to Google it because the name, I, I'm not really good at writing. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, here, voice actual radio. Hmm. Oh, it's not this one. Come on, where do I rank it? <laughs> I do like it a lot. From it's very good, so it's gonna be up here. Yep, it's gonna be up here. But the exact rating, I'm still not too sure. Hmm. Okay, currently it's gonna be 8.3, but I can move it up or down a little bit later. <sighs> Ooh, go go loser ranger this one i really like this one it's gonna be up here currently i've watched 
all of the episodes and it's an 8.9. One of the best show for me this season. I really like it. There really isn't much which is uh, better than this. I mean the storytelling and everything around it is really interesting and I probably like it even more than this one. Yeah, I mean I do like it more. So I'm gonna move it. Yep, yeah, I'm sorry, but it's moved up. Yeah, this one is really good. I like it. The storytelling is great. The animation and the fighting sequences are amazing and I really don't know what's gonna happen. So I like it lot oh, what am i doing okay next one shadow wars i am sorry but i've got no opinion on shadow wars let's see shinigami bochan the third season i'm sorry but i've got no opinion on to it am i in, am i in the way am i in the way okay let's see let's go on to the next one ah shinkalian change the world the train one for the collectors i don't want to be this guy i don't want to be that guy but it's good but not too good the funniest thing is the first three episodes weren't really that good but the episode four for no reason gone so hard it was crazy it was totally crazy how hard it gone so that's why it's a uh, seven okay shumatsu the train to the end of the world the 7g1 <laughs> Oh yeah, this one. This one, I do like it. I do like it a lot. Where would I put it? Yeah, it's gonna be up here because I really like it. The storytelling is really good. The characters are funny and quirky and it's a seinen so we don't really know what's gonna happen. It can easily happen that everyone is gonna die at the end so yeah. Next one. The Daima Kairi. I mean I do like this show but I heard that the universe of this show is crazy. <laughs> And I don't mean the good kind of crazy, but it's good. Um, yeah, I would put it up here. It's really wholesome for a lot of reasons. Most of it because of the little kid. It's nicely portrayed, so I can only put it up here, right? Okay, next one. The one about the noble. Hmm. I mean, the animation is okay, the storytelling is fine too, but the setting, I mean, we all seen this already a few hundred times. Where is it? Yeah, it's down here. 7.3. It's similar to this one. I mean, for me, rating. Oh, this one, this one, this one. I really like this one. I read the manga and one week after that, I've seen that the trailer for the anime adaptation dropped. I really like this one. The Seventh Prince. Okay, the Seventh Prince. Ooh, where do I put it? Yeah, I mean, I'm an Isekai Trash fanboy, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm based. 8.6 out of 10. Okay, let's see. The next one on the list is The Slime. The third season. I mean, I gotta say, it started up quite dry. Not, no real action. It's a good show, but currently I'm enjoying it as much as episode 4. As my Hoka Coco, the irregular at the Magic High School, so I can only be put it up down here. Oh, we've got the fable. I mean, if you are an adult and you don't mind this kind of animation, you are gonna love it. <laughs> oh my. It's really good. It's really, really good. It's funny. Ooh. Oh yeah, I need to move this a bit up. No, I don't need to. I just gonna make this one here. Do I like it more than voice actor radio? I'm not sure. Hmm, it's hard. Yeah, I mean, nah, I gotta be truthful. I enjoy it a lot. The comedy is great. <laughs> uh, four episodes. Let's see. 8.4 out of 10. The Fable is amazing. <laughs> the Idol Master. I dropped it. I watched only one episode, so I'm sorry about it. Mm, it's better than Ipri at the released. So it's gonna be 4 out of 10. Okay. Let's see the next one. Ooh, the new gate. I mean, I read the manga. I really enjoyed the manga of this one. But the animation of this and the adaptation is a bit flock. It's not really that good. Even if I am the Isekai Trashman, similar to Gigak. 
<laughs> I need to rate it a bit low. It's not really that good. I'm sorry. It's better than Rinkai, but worse than the coming new games. So episode three and six point six out of ten on hold. Ooh, this list is spicy. It is spicy already. Nice. Oh, Tonari no Yokai. I've got no rating for it, but I'm gonna make it currently, but it's a good one. What is the Tadai no Kanari? It's better than Tadai no Kanari and the Henshin of Salad. And this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, it's gonna be here. Episode 4 or... It's similar to Whisper Me or a low song or maybe even better. Currently I'm really enjoying it and the rating can go up there to the end of the season. I mean it's a relaxing anime with a lot of supernatural elements so it can go both ways. It's good. Okay, the next one is... I don't even know how to say it. Doken Rambukai. Kyoden Myoru Onunoji. The one of the Oda Nobunaga, the swords ones. I seen only one episode. But it didn't really appeal to me. Yeah, it's gonna be a 5.5 out of 10. Dropped. Unnamed Memory is one of the better shows this season. It's not really one of the best ones, but it's quite okay. I do enjoy it. If I had to rank it this season, it would be at the same rating as Tonari no Yokai. Episode 4. Of them. Yep. I mean, it's a fantasy story with witches. It's good. Oh, we've got the romance of the vampires and this one. <laughs> The girl who is cross-dressed as a boy. Let's see, let's see, let's see, where do I rate it? I'm still watching it, but I do think I'm gonna put on hold or drop it. It's not really that enjoyable, but it's fine. But it's not really better than this one. It's better than this, so it's gonna be here. It's an okay show, if you like the vampire romances, so the girls are gonna love it. But it's not for everyone. It's a lot of cliches uh, thrown into the mix. Let's see, Windbreaker, one of the best shows this season. I do enjoy it a lot. And uh, the next episode should be really good because we've got a clash. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I mean... <laughs> Okay, and episode 4. As I said, the rankings can go up and down. It's only subjective, but it's getting crazier and crazier. I do like it. Nonetheless, the fights are top-notch. The hand-to-hand -hand combat. It is amazing. Ooh, the jellyfish in the night. Yorono kurage no oi. I cannot read it. <laughs> Uh, I'm not Nihonko enough. Okay, I do enjoy it a lot. More than Windbreaker, yes. But similar level of... Yeah, I do like a girl's band cry a bit more. So I'm quite sorry about that. Many of them are out for 8.6. Okay, let's see the next one. Yosakura family. I mean, this is like the spy family, but with a bit more action. It's here in this category, but where exactly? I mean, is it? It's good. No, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna put down here. Episode 4, 7.8 out of 10, but this one is gonna be a 9. Let's see, the next one is Eurocamp Season 3. Oh, and we are finished, because I did not watch it, so I've got no opinion on it. I didn't even watch the first season, so I'm quite sorry. So let's see. Oh my, what did I do? Okay, okay. Wait, wait, okay, 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 I almost messed up. So, this is gonna be the whole rating list, because we are finished. From those, I didn't even watch anything, and do I rank the leftovers? I mean, I can rank them down here, so why not? The last episode of the Dungeon Meshi, it was really good, so... Currently we are 17 episodes out. How do I rate it? <laughs> it's an 8.8 .8 out of 10, because why not? I can be spicy. This one is a bit disappointing for me, because I really do like uh, Moonlit Fantasy the first season. So I can only say, if I compare it to the other shows this season, even One Room is more exciting than that. It's about a bit better than this. It's like slime, 7.6. Ooh, this is spicy. Okay, the next one. Urusei Atsura I don't watch, so no opinion. But I did hear people hyping it up already, so yeah. As for the movies, I haven't watched anything, so not this one. Okay, then that should do it. 
Uh, oh, we've got more. This here. Let's see. Sanseya. Nope. Didn't watch. The Sandland the series. I did not watch too. This I didn't watch either. Okay. We are finished. Thank you for staying till the end. I hope my takes aren't too salty for everyone. Because, oh man, people are gonna be <laughs> so annoyed. But let's see. Let's uh, do a recap. The number one, the season currently for me, seems like it's Komisuba. The number two is Mushoku Tensei. The number three is Gogo Loser Ranger. Number four is Spice and Wolf. Number five, we've got Kaiju number eight. Number six is the Controller Shell Seventh Prince. Number seven is Girl Spent Cry. At the same place with the Yoru no Kurage, the Jellyfish in the Night. Number nine is Windbreaker. And number ten is The Fable. But if I say that this one is the same, yeah, this feels more like my list this is the top 10 and how many of them those are honorable mentions those are my top 10 but i got 12 shows <laughs> i mean if you make this go away then yeah but if we don't count the continuations of those two then we've got and this one then yeah this one would be in the top 10 if we don't count the continuations of uh, Konosuba, Mushoku Tensei and Spice and Wolf because I really do enjoy oh then the Gogo -Go Loser Ranger would be a number one I mean it's understandable because I really do enjoy it Ooh, spicy okay that should do it thank you for staying till the end this is my list this is my ranking it's really really spicy a lot of people are gonna go bunkers so thanks for watching hope you stay healthy and we're gonna see us in the next video bye